Make an album in three days, man. This is camp. This is what we do. Me and Marquito select a bunch of artists that we really fuck with. We go to a lot of shows. We listen to a lot of Bay artists. We send stuff to each other. We do our homework. We take notes. We're talking about it. We pick 20 artists. Um, we invite them to our studio. We make an album with a documentary in three days. That's it. That's camp. That's the only agenda. This group setting allows me as an artist to wear so many hats at once. Like it's overwhelming, but it's like a good overwhelming. I could do, you know, producer, I can go sing some stuff, I could throw some harms, I could, you know, whatever. I could wear so many hats, it's fun. I could just bounce around. It's it's a blast getting to explore all those different avenues with all these new artists. It's it's fun. that we have and you can be in one room and just like write your little verse and then go in the other room and then it'd be an entirely different vibe and it's an entirely different genre this weird like rockabilly hip-hop song like what the fuck you write a little to that you throw a guitar on that you go in the other room and it's a whole ass new song that wasn't even the first song that you were working on it's a ton of like creative opportunity here you can really do anything it feels like and everybody's so welcoming um i'm making a ton of stuff i could never ever make on my own but I still am able to put my fingerprints on. So yeah, everybody's just really tight. It helps when you're working with tight ass artists. Yeah. Uh, I do like that that kick on the four. Oh, okay, that's not what I was going for. I was still active, but sure. Yeah, no, nigga, that's hard. <laughs> I love that. Like the energy was crazy. I was like, no bad ideas. I everybody was in a different room and other people were taking a break. So I went in there and started playing on guitar. And I'm not the best guitar player, but I was like, I want to make a fiddle folk honky tonk sounding shit like that. I want it to be hillbilly rock. And then people came in. Casey came in actually, and then I was like, oh no, I'm just playing around, you know, like on oh, some hillbilly rock shit. And then he was like, oh yeah, put it down, put it down. And then we started building the whole hillbilly rock song out of that. And everybody like that was spitballing and adding to it and it just sounded fucking sick. And it just kept sounding sicker to me and weirder in a way that I fucking loved. So that was my favorite time. I'm okay. going that way, like I said. I'm going that way to the garden. I planted seeds where grass was dead. Yup. Mixture of things. <laughs> um, my goal was to make one the weirdest track of camp, two my version of a drill song, and then something sad and melodic, which is like my normal. So I think I did it. I think that was my goal, and I hope I have the weirdest song on camp too. That was just my personal, my personal goal, my personal need. Let's see how it goes. Honestly, like right when I walked in, it was just so fucking dope. Like I, there was like such a bomb ass beat playing and I just started freestyling on it and I fucked with all my melodies and I met Lex and Lex was doing some crazy ill shit and Shaw and uh, Maggie, they were all just like in the cut just doing some fly shit and I was just like, uh. And then I started singing some shit and I was like, yeah, I'll sing that with me. And they were like, uh. And we were just like, uh. And it was so fucking good. I just love that shit. Shaw, right. Go ahead. Oh, and we'll be like, like, all I need is you, yeah. call on me, yeah. Yeah. all I need is you, call on me, yeah. all I need is you. Okay, oh, can y'all hit that? Yeah. yeah. I can hit it with the harmony on the whole thing, too. All of them. <laughs> The creative process shifts for me in a group setting 
mostly because it allows me to um, collaborate and see, like peer into other people's minds and see um, where their creativity comes from, how it's fostered, um, nurtured, and um, yeah. We can figure like more words, like what's the, what's the next part, what's the next part, you know? We got, oh. all I need is, call on me, all I need is, Yeah, man, I, I had no idea what to expect sonically, but we make a ton of different kinds of stuff, and that's why everyone was invited, because everybody is so versatile and passionate about trying new things. People get bored with themselves. I get bored with myself, and it's fun to experiment, so I'm glad that everybody's just buying into that idea. I just want to do more like group vocals, and like I think of, I feel like I think of a lot more like backgrounds and like more catchy, chanty type um, melodies and lyrics and stuff. Because we have more voices, it makes me want to kind of like be a choir, you know, and like do stuff like that. So yeah, every time I'm like on a track up there and we got multiple people, I'm just like, let's all do this shit. You know, like getting on the mic at the same time and just like bringing that aspect into the songs is always hella fun. And it's not, it's something that I can't do by myself, you know, cause it's just me, so. Well, I'm really new to everything music related. For years I've been a writer, a poet, primarily prose. Just this year I got into songwriting and music in general. So being with a huge group of people who are extremely musically inclined, extremely skilled in all of their respective fields has been super inspiring. I'm learning more about the possibilities that I have within myself. Try, uh, try like 120. I'm gonna make a drill, so I need to, I need to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I hear it fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me add like a snare. I'm thinking of like a rim for a try. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. That's hilarious. That's someone's bar? Yeah. That's that's a real bar from it's a real bar. Oh, How can I be homophobic? My, my bitch is gay. <laughs> Drop top in the gun wanna see a man topless, even the stick is gay. I'm like, Yo! I I'm really used to making music with groups of people because that's how I started out making music. I've like been playing piano and singing for like hella long and then I didn't really make my own music until like three years ago actually. So that's how I started out was like with people and so I feel like it feels familiar and it's fun and uh, I love it. Yeah. Ooh, a section of that? Give me a section of that for sure. From the bedroom or the four door, had a headroom, dipped out in a dark blue Honda. No actors, Jane Fonda. And she fucking with me, no wonder why. In the passenger seat, with them thunder. Dipped out in a dark blue Honda. <laughs> <laughs>
Can I hear the drop into the uh, drop into this part? Yeah. Well, we never did shit. I don't sketch much from the bedroom or the four door and the headroom. Dipped out in a dark blue Honda. No actors, you think about that. And she's fucking with me. No wonder why. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! It's kind of funny because I didn't realize that this would be happening so soon. I was like, yo, I'd love to come work with you. And a lot of the other people I've met in the community have showed up, you know, and here we are. Kind of crazy how things work out like that, you know? You know, my process in the group setting is kind of funny. I get, um... Sometimes I get a little nervous, you know, especially with some of these artists, man, they're so good. I definitely need to take like a little moment to kind of like separate myself, you know, and put, put myself in this space where like everything fades out and I'm just like listening to what's going on. You know, I'm just trying my best to kind of like feel other people's energies and try to bounce off them and like reflect, you know, sometimes when people are working on something, you can almost hear what it needs, you know? Camp 2, I've been enjoying uh, writing in genres I don't usually write in. I've been writing like R&B hooks, which is kind of fun. I never ever do that. So yeah, it's nice to get out of the old comfort zone. People are pretty accepting here. I feel real vulnerable. I usually don't do this, but I wrote something that I would like for Cam to sing. Yeah! Soda wrote this hook on the first day, and he was like, Cam, I want you to sing this hook. And like the lyrics, I would never write something like that. But like he wrote it and he referenced it. He didn't even want to reference it. He was like, here, I'm gonna just send it to you and you sing it. But he referenced it, his ad libs, and he was like saying hmms and highs. And it's just, it's like perfect trademark Soda. I've always wanted to do a song with, with Soda because like he's so outside of the realm of like stuff that I would make by myself and so, when he did that, I was like, this is like literally why I'm here. First day camp, I get that moment of like, this person that our genres are so opposite, but he just comes in with a hook that is nothing like I would say. And like, he hears it in my voice and I recorded it. And it was, it was great. I can't wait to hear the final version of it. I can't wait, I get a soda yeah. reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get a soda reference, let's go. Say something. This is a reference. Ah, uh, so much better. <laughs> this oh, is so a much. reference. Oh, yep. okay. This is not the final vocal. Oh, God. The final vocal. Someone said I was a feline. Mm. But I'm a hero. Mm. Blood loss in the bedroom. Air pressure dropped to zero. Mm. And, and I ain't never been a follower. Um, I'm on the front line. Mm. I had to do him like a hairball. Someone said I was a feline. Hey, hey, but I'm a hero. Yeah. <laughs> 
wasn't supposed to be this way. Life derails, I catch a train, I'm catching strays. Cash, yet yeah, it never stays. Running wild in a wind, it could last for days. Those details are on the way. Pretty picture in my mirror that burned away. Only let me in the summer when I ain't up away. And now the days are getting shorter. My favorite moment so far is when, same situation, there's been a couple times where, you know, everyone's just been locked into one song in the studio. It's like a lot of us, you know, it, it pulls us into one studio. Honestly, I would say the unpredictability, because you don't know what we're expecting here. Like, we walk in, it's like eight other artists already in here vibing to this shit. They all came and, you know, congregated to this room. Even though there's other things happening in the other room, it's just cool. Everybody just kind of is fluid. It's just moving wherever the wherever the energy's at. And that's what I love about camp. It's just all this energy. It's just where you want to be. Um, I do not express myself outside of art. I'm a pretty reserved person. I'm pretty like responsible and calculated and practical. Art is the only time I feel like uh, I make anything makes any sense. And anybody's got it. You have no idea like who I am unless you listen to the records, I think. I think that's the case with most people here. Eight oh eight. Oh, IG eight oh eight X. Case Cope clap two. Do you I have that? Know. You must have that. I, I think I do. I mean, you must have. That was one of the first claps. I might. I might. I might. It feels different when there are a lot of people paying attention to either the project or to you. The, uh, Feeling that awareness makes it uh, you, yeah, you hard to explain. It feels different. I've heard people describe it as yeah. a little bit of pressure whenever they get on the microphone and they have to do their takes. People are encouraged to, or they, they encourage themselves to go more quickly, you know. It's not necessarily a bad kind of pressure. It's encouraging, you know, when it's collaborative. Yeah. favorite moment so far. It was, it was again probably when I was standing in the room five minutes ago listening to Bianca lay down a track. And when she dropped her phone and she sang, oh no, I dropped my phone, that was great. But I don't know if that's gonna show up on the album, so. All right. I can put it again if you want. I could, I could. Do you want it as a safety valve? A safety uh, note? Extra on your safety valve? <laughs> valve? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Valve? <laughs> You fucking committed. Yeah, I went for it. I really, I really don't. Valve? One. Yeah, I run this back. Oh god, get the valve. Hit that valve one time. Oh, sorry, I was correct. I thought I was wrong, but I was right. You, you said to tell me. I thought I was wrong, but I was right. Baby, you plump, make that ass jump, holding my balloon, nigga, I'm up, hit it two times. Every time I get stuck, it be saving my life. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta turn this up. Come on, 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 come Ellipses and parenthesis. I didn't really come in with a with an agenda. I just came in to see, you know, we'll see what happens. Real organic, real raw. Like doors are open. Whatever, you know, whatever you want to throw down on the track. Let's see what's up. So I just kept a super open mind and see what we make of it. Red bag, goddamn, can I get what I want? 
Not a single day where I can go without it. Call me on my way, I'll be singing and shouting. See it in my face, you can see what I'm out of. Wait, babe, goddamn, can I get what I want? Yeah, you, you got it. No problem, no problem, yeah, no problem. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Not a single day where I can go without it. Call me on my way, I'll be singing and shouting. See it in my face, you can see what I'm out of. Red Bay, goddamn, can I get what I want? Not a single day where I can go without it. Call me on my way, I'll be singing and shouting. See it in my face, you can see what I'm out of. Red Bay, goddamn. It's very cool to get to do this kind of. Uh, you know, complete freedom, everyone gets to have their share, no egos in the room kind of shit. Hanging out with really dope, talented people, seeing how they work, you know what I mean? Finding some way to blend all of it. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> 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 okay. It might be a post-second verse, too. Maybe post-first? Yeah, post-second verse or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, hard. I like that. That pocket is nice. I just wanted to discover, man. Like, I've been really realizing that music is not, uh, it's not as much creation as it is, like, discovery. I was just like, let's see what happens, you know? See who's there, when, what's happening, you know? Is it late night sessions? Like, you know, different times of the day, different music, and I know just knowing everybody's, like, open is, like, all right, like, let's see what we can find together, you know? My cup, I don't need it overflowing, but mine been full from the junk. Your gravitational pull been forcing me toward the sun. You all I've been waiting for, cause baby girl, you the one. <laughs> I don't usually collaborate heavily and this just like makes me feel like I can and like comfortable with that and like you got a little sense of community for me. Walking in and people be like, hey, and then it's just like love. I don't have many musical homies like that, so to have people that are like-minded and also on like the, have like same dreams and stuff and it's all love, it's just beautiful, I love it. Breaking silly fallacies like love on work forever, like someone's touch could be better than yours. I think you're perfect and pure, even in the heart of your flaws. You sold your drop, and I'm trying to gather mine up off of the floor. I keep spinning, you were centrifuge for all of my love. I keep spinning till I'm falling off the edge of my bluff. The grass is green, and hey. everything you want, and you are. I skip my meeting this morning to roll around in your arms. I think that's all that I want, I think that's all that I need. But hold me tight in the fall, so I think I'm starting to see. Uh, Who got bars? I think I think we're ready. Who got yeah. bars? <laughs> <laughs> Who got bars? Do y'all want to do the course first? Let's do it. Yeah. My goal is to have fun, man. Come in and make some blaps and have fun and kick it with the homies. I, l I would love to explore like more R&B stuff, more soul stuff, you know. I feel like I have the hip hop stuff pretty on lock, but uh, the R&B and soul is definitely more stuff I want to experiment with. That's it.
the creative process shifts for me in a group setting. Um, probably a little less experimenting and more going with what I know for time purposes, like kind of going with chords that I know or similar stuff that I kind of already know how to do. When I'm at home, I might take more of a chance and risk and spend more time. But in a group setting, I'm kind of there with a mission in mind and to get shit done and knock it out uh, in efficient time. I think there's nothing like cooking and creating works of art with other people, with other creatives that are on your level and not even on your same wavelength because you need people that are in a different space than you are, that see the world, see art differently than you do. And that's where we are right now. I'm just inspired by everything and everyone around me. I feel like my best self in situations like this. Taking, taking shit for granted, but granted my own placement and greatness. But my name into the granite, but granted that's payment. You can break it with a plan and determination, or if you lack it, I'm passing the passing, passing, passes. Hail Mary, I'm massive, a bastard acting classes. Cause ain't a cat in my class that can capture a classic. Captivating rappers make a master taking average status. So bad, like a walk rapper. Very fucking cool to work with Cam again, you know. Honestly, everyone here, man, just fucking stoked to be a part of this group. It's a very talented group of individuals. Super stoked to have the homie Lex here. We're with Lex for hella long, but glad to see Lex at camp. Hearing the hearing people like put themselves into an avenue they wouldn't usually put themselves in. You know what I mean? Uh, or just hearing new sounds for like this camp project in general. You know, this this new one feels a lot more dynamic than the last one. stuff here is so high math it's so like niche everybody's got these like huge personalities coming through like it's all just it's all just new and fun Did you just write that right now? Yes. You said left side shoe. Left side right shoe. Right foot stomp. Yeah. Put a slump in your walk. <laughs> oh. Four digits and glide, then oh. hold out your palms. Oh. Act like you know who you are, bro. Oh. Can you hear this shit live, yeah. like on Damn. stage? Like, <laughs> motherfuckers going crazy in the crowd to this shit. Cut the film. Cut the film. <laughs> I'm there. He's like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, because I don't even know what it's like. Sliding. Right here, give me some. I told you to hear this intro. We at the end of the day, uh, shit, camp three, but camp two, day three, camp two, faded. we here, yeah, a little faded, goddamn, I'm just so glad everyone's here, so much love, so much energy, shit, we here, we made a whole fucking album, three days. Camp two, baby. Man, camp two, camp two, camp two, camp two, camp two. So blessed that you guys are here. So much energy, so much love. It's so, so pure. It's transitioning years of my life, being a 
27. Mm. It's been really crazy. I've had incredible highs and incredible lows. And for this to cap off everything is really amazing. Mm. Uh, Yes. <laughs>